Michael McDowell, only his second NASCAR Sprint Cup Series start. He finished 26th at Martinsville. But he made his NASCAR debut here in what was the Bush Series last November. Started 17th, finished 20th. He was actually 29th quickest earlier in practice at a 29-14. This car yeah. is locked into the show. It just walked up the hill big time. It bottomed out. That thing did a little turkey walk right up the track. Now this car is locked into the show based on where David Rudeman brought it in the point standings prior to Rudeman getting out of this car, moving into the 44 to replace the now-retired Dale Jarrett in the UPS car. There was some talk of whether the team... Whether the team could switch points. Whoa, 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 guys. Whoa, whoa. Boy. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I have never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall a ton. Oh, my gosh. M Michael's moving around in the car. My goodness. That car just hooked, went straight in. Straight. It, did that, it did that hook and go up the hill, man. And that was a incredibly hard impact look at, the look, at that, look at that safer barrier right there how it just crushed all that stuff that that is good though that oh no means it's that great. thing moved it's great it's just incredible how hard it hit and then then the flipping helped the car dissipate the remaining energy parts flying off it he look at that, that. Oh, look thank at that. goodness and That's, wave to the fans my goodness that says so much for these race cars, it says so much for what these racetracks have done with this safer barrier. That is unbelievable. And he walked away and waved to the crowd. My goodness. That was unbelievable. I, I haven't seen a wreck like that anywhere lately. And certainly not with, with these cars. I've never seen one of these COT platforms take a hit like this. Let's take a look. I think you're going to see him get loose the minute oh, he yeah. turns down into the corner. Yeah, and he's just, man. And that thing just absolutely. I will guarantee you that impact was well over 180, probably 185 miles per hour. We've already seen 199 or better getting in there going straight. It's a part of the racetrack. Oh, oh I, I, I can't even hardly watch that. It's a part of the racetrack, but Murray said was a little slick getting in. Not knowing if Michael changed his line a little bit, got a little too much into that speedy drive. Oh, my Lord. But that he walked away and waved to the crowd while walking to the ambulance after that impact is a great testament to safety of these cars and these racetracks today. If there's been any fans, if there's been anybody in our industry that has questioned the car tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this guy that walked out of that race car just a few minutes ago.